Hello, Paul Hamilton here. This is what we're going to make today. We're looking at Reality Composer. Going to make a great little kind of activity for kids and for adults too. We love it. Um, looking at behaviours, looking at some physics and, and bringing in shapes. Not yet available for iPad, um, only iPhone and iOS 13, uh, but hopefully that'll come with um, OS iPad coming in. Great little activity. Kids are going to love this. So let's get into Reality Composer. We're going to create a new project. Uh, we're going to do a horizontal kind of anchor. Um, and it comes up with these defaults. Now, I haven't been able to work out how to delete them. I know it sounds silly, so I'm just going to move them to the side. I know we shouldn't do that, but we're going to. Then we're going to press plus at the top and find our rocket for our rocket launch project. So we're going to hit our plus at the top. You can have a play around with moving around the screen, lots of shapes, L fantastic library. We're going to go down to toys and we're going to select uh, the rocket. There we go there. And if we tap on the rocket, we can actually do a range of different things. So we can transform it, um, we can scale it, and we can do a range of different things here. Um, so what we can do is um, apply some physics to it straight away. Um, we can say what kind of material does it actually react with, um, sorry, react like. Um, I'm going to have it really solid, like a metal kind of lead kind of feel and interaction there. And we can start actually playing around with the different things there, which is pretty cool. Um, we can also apply some gravity as well to the overall scene by not tapping on the object, but just tap on the outside of it. Um, but here I've got a little behavior. So I wanna, I'm going to say when tapped, I'm going to apply a force to it um, in conjunction with the physics um, and see how that works. So you can actually view it in AR, you can play it, you can tap on it. Uh, like here, see how it kind of does that sort of thing, which is great, which is in play mode, not in AR mode yet. But I just want to make sure I've got my ha behaviors kind of set. So little triggers, what's the actual behavior that I want? Um, and how can I kind of work with the parameters that I've got and the gravity and, and the weight and the different things there, which is pretty cool. Lots of great behaviors there that I'll explore a little bit later on. We're going to do a um, archaeology archaeological kind of digital dig, look for kind of old relics and different things looking at proximity. Um, but for this one, it's just touch, trigger, um, apply force, apply some gravity, um, and basically we're good to go. So if I put it in AR now and go out to my uh, driveway here, and we actually, we need to press play at the top, by the way. When we do AR at the top, you can see there, we also need to press the play button at the top. Now my rocket's a little bit small down here, but I can actually pinch. So once I've found it, uh, yep, there he is down the bottom here. What I can actually do is kind of drag him and move him around the scene. I can move him away. There's the annoying box, that's okay. I'm just gonna pinch and make him a little bit bigger there. Uh, place him there. And when I press play, then it actually interacts the dynamic and the behaviors become live. So I can actually tap that and off it goes. And how it lands is obviously determined by a range of different factors um, in regard to the collision kind of properties there as well. But great little activity. Um, kids would love playing around with creating their own little rocket launch and going through different things here. You can play around with the gravity, can play around with the force, um, can play around with really interesting behaviors. I hope you found that useful. Fantastic app. Can't wait for it to get to iPad. All done on a mobile device, which is fantastic. And great integration with Xcode too that we might talk about at a later stage. Paul Hamilton signing off.